Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers, I hope you guys are doing good today. So just when you thought this whole blue face Krishan thing was over, now that his ass is doing six months in jail. Just when we thought we was done with the two of them, here comes Krishan with some more fuckery. So this past Sunday, you know, Krishan, the girl who claimed that, you know, now that he's in jail, he act like he still want her, but she's not trying to be bothered. Like, what's up with this? Like, they get locked up and then they get the call of you acting like, like it was a different story before they went up in here. Like, how the fuck you even know what's going on on the vlogs? To, oh, you was getting ready to ask me to be your girlfriend. What are you talking about, bro? Like, you was, bro. Why are you want to think they could put out one thing and receive another? Like, that's not what you've been putting out, bro. Like, how, and how the fuck is you calling me from that jail with information? Like, Who's reporting back to you? The f And y'all know, like, y'all know. I f my BD. You feel me? So, it be so annoying. First of all. Make up your f mind. What the f I'm not finna be keep. What? I pop the tooth back in. I'm. Amen. Amen. All of a sudden, this past Sunday, I go up on Instagram and she's on my timeline with this huge ass blue face tattoo on the side of her face. And I'm shocked because I'm like, you just did a revision on your neck to get him off of your neck and now you go and tattoo him on your face and she claims that she's back with him social media was not feeling this at all when i tell you people were dragging the fuck out of her and so in the comment section people were like girl what the f man um somebody else says you ruined your face girl another person says lord i pray i'm never this in love and delusional over no nigga amen somebody else says this has to be a joke let's pray it's fake so people was going in on her. It got so bad that she lost over 200,000 followers on Instagram. You guys can see the before and after right here. So people were upset. Even the game clowned her and even her sister China came out and drug her as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys the clips of her sister China going in on her. Check this out. So I get a couple of dollars and then he get big. Now run back and tell her I said it. First of all, you sitting there riding and that beats your ass. You d riding and that's doing with your son on the internet. You, you, you crazy. You really is up. Yeah, it is really fed up for sure. Period. Run back and tell her I said it. She's fed up. Quick as God gave it to her, quick as God will snatch it. For when you sitting there making blue face your God, you dumb as This the same that was beating your ass. Like literally beating your ass. Put your son all on the internet. Talk down on your son. Didn't even claim your son. And then you want to talk about he, he locked up because he was with the family. You got the game f***ed up, Rashawn. You was really f***ed up. But you sitting there chasing blue face. See how much luck you going to have. You ain't going to have that much luck. I promise you. And I hope you didn't sell your soul. Because the way you act, then you would think you sold your soul. No way in the world I'm going to sit there talking about, oh, that's what he get because he was with the family. Lil Petey always with you. That always got your back. He going to jail today. That's all you can say is, oh, uh, that's because he was up there with the family. What the f is wrong with you, Krishan? But you sit there and bend over for Blueface, the same that's sitting on your son that don't claim your child. It's the same nigga. You got the game f up. Like, you f up. Real s***. Ain't no sister of mine. I only claim you. I'm not claiming you. Like, you wild as s***. My f start getting a couple of dollars, then he'd get big. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Just know Lil Petey good. 
He gonna be all right. Trust and believe. But you sitting there chasing beyond a nigga that dug you out. You sitting there for a nigga that's locked up that don't give a f about you. Cause when he come home, he gonna chase Jaden. I promise you that. F out of here. Oh, I do. Oh man, I don't even go around with her. Period. Period. And you right. The fame got her gone. Gone. Cause for one, y'all wanna really talk about it. My mother should have been in the house. Period. But you out here throwing thousands at strippers. Let's talk about it. Giving Blueface half of your money. Yo, you really f up. All right, so you guys just saw the video of China dragging Krishan. Folks are really mad about this entire situation. And Krishan feels like people need to stop hating on her. Folks need to let her do her. Her and Blueface are back together. She's moved back into his house and y'all need to get up out of her business. So here go the clips of her going off on social media, going off on her fans. And once again, professing her love for Bluetooth. I mean, Blueface. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Bitch, my nigga. Like, everybody fucking with my motherfucking tech. You just mad that it's not you. Fuck did you talk about? All right, and then let's, let's really get into the gritty, though. Let's really, 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 really get into the gritty. It's not fake. So, I don't know why I keep saying it's fake. I just got it professionally done at a place where they do, like, some real good shit. Two, um, let's check the motherfuckers that just, well, actually... It's 109,000 motherfuckers in this live. I don't even think y'all worth mentioning for real, for real. Because y'all need this clout. Y'all not even going to never reach this on y'all live. Because I was going to raid dress a few motherfuckers that got their... Their mouth just popping it. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? The fuck? Me and Blue, we're going to give it another try. We realize we is not our happiest with anybody else. So all that shit he was doing was fake, faking, faking for some money. And then me, I was just trying to, it just never worked. So, you know, I'm back with my BD. And you guys see me on the phone. He stays on the phone with me. And he loves talking to his bitch. So that being said, um, y'all could just eat a dick for real, because at this point, I know I got this little raggedy ass ponytail on, but um, y'all all like we can't save you, save you. What is y'all doing? Y'all ain't doing shit, but being nosy. Y'all ain't saving nobody, and bitch, I don't want to be saved. Fuck, obviously. But um. Yeah, fuck all y'all weird ass motherfuckers that think they doing something. Like, y'all wish y'all views was this high. That's why y'all mad at me. Y'all wish y'all had the internet on lock. I could post anything, nigga. It's, it's up. So, if I posted that I got two left feet. Viral. Like, what the fuck? Fuck all y'all. I don't give a fuck about none of that. No, I'm talking to the bitches in the back. And y'all want free shadows by talking shit about me. You not getting no free shadows talking shit about me, bitch. You was better off just minding your business, bitch. Go ahead and talk shit, bitch. You bitches are clout chasers. And then you a nigga for real, too. Your fat old ass. The fuck? Just popping it. Your fat old ass. Sir, sir, sir. Your fat old ass. Don't know shit. You just mad as shit. You wish you was... You wish who you was who you... You just a bitch. The fuck? You just a bitch. You just a... What? Yes, I got it covered up because he was playing with me. The fuck, bitch? I got a new tech because we making up. Fuck you. The fuck? Ain't no other bitch going to tat him on the face like this. And if you are, bitch, congratulations. I gave you an idea. The fuck? Go ahead. I'm a trendsetter. Everybody follow what I do anyway, so I don't give a fuck. What the fuck is you talking about? 
Y'all wanna see? Yeah. My nigga, my nigga, my nigga. What happened when y'all fall? We not falling out again, bro. He went to jail and he realized like niggas, he only fuck with one bitch and it's me. I'm gonna stick beside you, sis, huh? Period. These bitch ass is playing with me, acting like. The fuck? I'm getting some money. Fuck is you talking about? And I'd rather be with my BD than anybody else because I don't know. I hung out with a couple niggas. Y'all are alright. And it's crazy because we talking shit. You ain't gonna talk shit. Ah! The blue face. Every nigga that's playing me right now, every bitch ass. Any anybody, bro. In LA, all these weird ass deals, all these weird ass people walking into my life keep saying, Oh, I can change your life or bitches, niggas owing me money. Cool, you gonna have to ask it to my nigga when he come on. You stupid ass bitch ass nigga. I don't give a fuck. So go ahead. All you niggas. Play. Go ahead and play. We've gone through this stage of teaching them how to drive. So I just want to address the hate train because, um, hey guys, <laughs> I'm the bitch you're hating. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I love it. It's like y'all pay a lot of attention to me, so I appreciate the love and the hate. The hate is just as welcome as the love. So, you know, keep hating. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you ain't got haters, you ain't. What? Poppin'. Nigga, what the fuck? And plus, um, stay tuned for everything else. <laughs> That's what I like about this shit. Run me my bag, babe. Alright, so, you just gotta start my days, you know. Looking like this, you know what I'm saying? Or looking like this. <laughs> All right, so y'all just heard her ranting and raving like a lunatic once again. Now, people also went to Marsh's page to ask Marsh what she thought about this because we all know Marsh is her best friend. She's the same one who ended up taking some lumps on the forehead for Krishan against Tasiki, Krishan's older sister. So as they're asking Marsh what she thinks, I'm thinking Marsh is going to say something. I don't know why I put so much hope in Marsh, but I'm thinking she's going to say something smart. But of course, she doesn't. Y'all go ahead and check. What you trying to do? It's on there. I love me some Marsh. Best friend in the world can have. Period. Are you okay with Krishan going back to Jonathan? Yeah, I'm okay with her going back to Jonathan. I'm more than okay with her going back over to her baby daddy. Because if I reconcile a relationship, if my baby father was alive and we had serious problems and we reconciled and right. it was right, I would go back to him because I would love to raise my child in a two parent healthy household. So, yes, I want that for my friend. And anybody who thinks that I shouldn't want that for my friend is weird. Despite whatever has happened. Because we're supposed to go through things and learn how to heal through them. And we're supposed to go through... Yeah, some things are totally and completely unacceptable. and should not be repeated at all whatsoever. But at the end of the day, when you're an elite, you have to act like that. And you can't, you know, you can't um, judge people for their decisions. Because it's also written in the word... Um, the, the, the judgment that she used for others, I'll use the same judgment to judge you. And I would be a hypocrite to say that if my baby daddy was alive and we was going through, me and my baby, me and my baby daddy had a similar relationship to Krishan and her baby daddy. So it's like, if me and my baby daddy was here, if I told y'all some of the things that we already went through and I took them back for, you wouldn't agree with it either. But I made a choice and I was happy with my choice. So it's not for me. It's for my job. It's for me. If she say we fucking this nigga, we fucking that nigga up. 
And if she said, all right, so y'all just heard that stupid ass shit that Marsh was saying. First of all, Marsh, you was the one who jumped on Instagram live at like four o'clock in the morning because Blueface stole the baby, quote unquote. Um, you watch your friend go through all this and all that. See, this is what you call a yes man. She's not really a friend to Krishan. She's there for the benefits and the adjacency to Krishan's fame. So whatever Krishan's on, whatever bullshit Krishan does, she's going to co-sign it because she knows she benefits financially. She gets to stay with Krishan. Krishan feeds her, clothes her. So she's not going to say anything to go against Krishan. That's not what a real friend is. A real friend is going to hold you accountable when you fuck up. A real friend is going to call you out. People who want nothing but yes men around them, they're not looking for real friends. They're looking for people who will not hold them accountable. And I just think it's really, really sad. Um, I will say this. I think at this point in time, Krishan, she's not going to learn until she crashes out. Until all of these fans of hers fall back and she loses people and people stop following every little thing that she does. Um, I think it's just really sad. And again, the saddest part is that there's a baby involved in all of this. And I'm sorry, as I'm looking at this baby, something seems off. You know, I pray this baby's okay. I know there's a lot of videos floating around um, of Krishan drinking and smoking while she was pregnant. But the way this baby continuously cries and he sounds like a cat to me is very unnerving. The way she's more focused on going off on Instagram Live than really taking care and acknowledging her baby when the baby is crying is sad. I really want Krishan to just get it together. And her tattooing this man's face on her face is not getting it together. She's definitely slipping backwards. And you know what she doesn't understand is that fame is fleeting, okay? You're famous right now, but two years from now, the rest of the world is not gonna give a shit about you. There were other viral chicks who were just as famous a few years ago that nobody cares about. And so my thing is, where are you going to be two years from now? Are you doing what you need to be able to do to take care of this baby? Or is everything just running behind Blueface? Because that's really who you know can take care of you because obviously you can't. I just don't feel like she's all there mentally. There's something going on there with her. And the fact that she thinks tattooing this man's face on her face is somehow love and it's going to keep him faithful... And with her, she's extremely delusional. And it's just sad because, again, all I see around her are yes men. And the fact that even her own family is trying to hold her accountable and she just totally dismisses anything they say is really sad. So with that being said, I leave the question up to you guys. How do y'all feel about this whole situation? How did you feel when you first saw that she went and tattooed Blueface's face on her damn face? How do y'all feel about her going off on everybody on social media? And then do you agree with me that Marsh is a yes man and that Marsh is going to excuse everything that Krishan does because it benefits her? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. I look forward to reading your comments down below. Make sure you guys hit this video with a like. Also, make sure you're still subscribed to this channel. Feel free to share the video, and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.